Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For those who are new to this channel, hi, I am Madhu Mishra. I am a theoretical physicist. Currently, I work as a postdoc at Asia Pacific Center for Theoretical Physics in Pohang, South Korea. And I've done my PhD from Isaac Trivendrum in deformation of supergravity and black hole thermodynamics. If you want to know a little more about my research, please go check out my website. I'm going to link it down in the description box below. In today's video, we are going to talk about tips for new PhD students. So if you have enrolled as a PhD or you're planning to enroll in a PhD course, you are in the right channel. I am going to tell you some simple and very important tips that are going to make your life easier. So let's get it. Tip number one, I've said this before and I cannot stress this enough. As a former PhD student, I believe you should start looking for best mentor rather than a best university. You will be dedicating your five to seven years doing this research and you should look for a professor whose work interests you rather than a good university. Tip number two, try setting your research topic within six months of your joining. Even in the worst case scenario, do not delay it more than a year. And if you have a choice, Choose a topic that will help you in long run, like after PhD, during postdocs. So be wise while you're choosing your topic and do not delay it. Tip number three, always keep in mind that you are on the driver's seat, not your supervisor. So you have to lead the project and your mentor is only there to support you. Tip number four, do not start your journey too vaguely. Have a rough timeline for thesis writing and defense with reasonable flexibility. Tip number five, Meet your supervisor regularly, maybe bi-weekly, as too frequent meetings can be distracting, but less frequent can make you unfocused. So meet your supervisor regularly. Tip number six. It is a serious one and very important. Suppose you end up, in worst case scenario, you end up choosing a supervisor who is toxic and you realize it after joining the group. Then I would highly suggest that you should consider quitting the group and joining a better group as soon as possible. Of course, consider it carefully, but you have to realize that a bad supervisor can have a negative impact on your mental health. And a PhD supervisor is a perman permanent reference for all your future positions. So it's better to go for an another group and a better supervisor. It's good for your PhD as well as your mental health. And I've seen in my circle people leaving a supervisor and joining a different group and having a much better experience as a PhD. So go for that and think about it very carefully. Number seven, publish as soon as possible and collaborate as much as possible. Nothing will improve your life as much as a collaboration if you can find a good people. And also it will help you find a postdoc before even you finish your PhD. But also remember that Publishing paper is not the same for every field. So do not compare your PhD work with another PhD student who are in different research area and different group. High energy people publish paper late than a condensed matter people life from my experience. Tip number eight, keep track of your funding and try to finish your PhD before your funding expires. And do not hesitate to talk about your any money related matter with your supervisor, frankly. Tell them that this is where you are and you need to finish your PhD before your funding expires because of these reasons. So be frank with your supervisor. Tip number eight, keep track of your funding and try to finish your PhD before your funding expires. And do not hesitate to talk about your any money related matter with your supervisor, frankly. Tell them that this is where you are and you need to finish your PhD before your funding expires because of these reasons. So be frank with your supervisor. Tip number nine, keep your social life active and indulge in physical and extracurricular activities. And this will tell you the frustration that comes with PhD. So enjoy your journey. Last tip for all my PhD scholars living away from your family. The first few months could be a roller coaster of emotions. From the excitement of living in a foreign state to learning new language, uh, getting to know new lifestyle, new culture, making new friends, to dealing with lectures, new food, new, uh, learning new language, even learning basics like cooking. 
and away from family living away from family can be overwhelming and you have to deal with all of this along with your research pressure so have patience and stay motivated it will pass so congratulations that you have enrolled in this career and uh, enjoy your journey and have fun i hope this video was helpful please take all these tips seriously and uh, i hope this helps and if you have any other questions please put it down in the comment section below and if you enjoyed the video please like it subscribe to this channel and yeah have a lot of fun see you in my next video till then bye bye